What's up guys, that's Mike. It's Dave. It's you. I used to use Subway every single day when I lived in New York City. Me every too. single day. Me too. Every what? day. Every day. Did you get two foot longs at a time? No, I did not get two foot longs. You didn't get two foot longs at a time? No. What kind of appetite did you have? Because it's not good to get two foot longs at a time. No, because it was delicious. No, what I'm saying is if you get yeah. two, you eat, that, eat them at the same time, you don't, I'm sure. No, I'm sure you, you save one for later. That's not yeah, good, because then what I'm just gonna get cold. Not whatever. It's I don't do that. No, because I get a hot one. No, because I have a deal. I always have deals. I never pay full price. Like buy one, get one yeah, free. Yeah, but if you get, a, get but two. if you let Subway sandwiches sit, they're yeah. gonna be all soggy. Well, I, I, well, I wanted the deal, but anyways, yeah, I ate it every single day for at least one whole year. And now I'm really upset. Day. I'm really, yeah. really, really upset because there's a report out yeah. that basically a Subway manager is basically uh, saying, "I'll answer any of your questions." Right. And some people asked what we should never get. And he said, there's two items you should never get. Right. Which, coincidentally, is what? the two items that I always get. No oh! way! Yo, no way, dude. Because yeah. they were the lowest in calorie, yeah. but highest in substance, I right. felt. Which were? Show, which was the teriyaki chicken right? and popular. the other chicken. The chipotle chicken. Chipotle chicken. Dang, those two are two of the most popular ones. Especially two. after they, they, they said they upgraded their chicken meats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it even more. Yo, well, tell them the reason why you don't get well, it. Well, supposedly what this guy said was that Subway has a two-day like shelving Shelf policy yeah. for all their ingredients. But apparently the chicken gets a four-day one. And often he's, he's like, on the fourth day, he's like smelling it. He's like, it smells. No, he says when you open the bag, it already smells. He says it smells really bad. When he you crack stinks, open the bag, it stinks. And then he's like, basically people kind of ignore the rules. I never smell that. I don't, well, well, once you cook it, it's yeah, fine. Right. It's, I think, I mean, when it's out of the bag, it's either frozen or raw, right? right. Um, I'm pretty sure it's already processed to some extent, but he's saying that this anonymous subway manager right. said online that when the bags are open, it's already stinking, and when they take it and leave it out for a couple of, of hours, it still stinks. Like yeah. people say that sometimes the preservative will go away, so um, it will smell it will smell better after a few hours. And he's like, no, it always smells bad. So well, that's disturbing. I never got those because I hated those two. I always got the Italian, the meatball. I basically got the Italian meatball. Every single day. <laughs> well, I'm sure the meatball isn't great, but right. I, I like the chicken because again, it was lower, lowest in cal that's calorie, true. and it fills you up more. That's true. No, I, that, I even get double meat sometimes. That, yeah. that, that's, <laughs> you know, that's good logic. Double meat. Oh that's man. That's good logic. Yeah. Oh man, yo, and when I can I tell you when I first got a Subway, I literally was blown away because like. Yo, the way they make it is very efficient, right? Mm -hmm. You order the chicken sandwich and each portion, half portion of chicken comes already portioned out. So they, they yeah. take the cups, they put it on there, they slap everything in the oven, comes out, it's perfect. I'm yeah. like, yo, blown away, blown away. Especially, I like the, here's why I get, I get, I get it with Southwest Chipotle sauce. It's a little spicy, okay. it's mayonnaise -y. Okay. And that uh, that's what I would eat for my lunch. And that's like part of my Subway diet plan until like, yeah. you know, that dude went to prison. I'm like, what the heck? It's not like spokesperson. Yeah, so, no. I always yeah. felt like uh, Subway was a bit weird. Like, no offense, Subway. I ate Subway sometimes, but mm -hmm. to me, the fact that it smelled the same every store I went yep. to, it always reminded me of this artificial bread smell. I mean, whenever I go in there, I'm like, it smells good, but something tells me this is not real. When I go to the grocery, as some users here have pointed out, right. this is a Reddit forum, right. right? So the guy came out on the Reddit forum and said, ask me whatever you want. And people are asking him. People are like, so how come none of my sandwiches taste like Subway? Right. And you know, and then the guy doesn't really answer that straightforward, but he's like, well, if you buy the bread at right. home, You'll, it'll taste similar. Right. But I'm thinking, how come only your bread tastes like that? There's gotta be something artificial about it. Yeah. So yeah. I, that's why I kinda didn't wanna eat it all the time. Yeah, no, there definitely is. I mean, he didn't say it, but you know, like all these fast food companies, like say McDonald's, Subway, they have a trademark smell. I mean, they don't trademark <laughs> it, but you bet, that's you true. bet there is a smell. For example, McDonald's chicken fries. nuggets, McDonald's fries. Like people even have rumored, I'm pretty, I'm sure this, if you look it up, you can find it, but there's a smell that the fries give off that's, that is put there on purpose. So oh, every yeah. time you smell it and on the nuggets, you're like- Distinctive. Those are, so same with Subway. When you walk in, it's, it's that Subway smell. Subway now smell. I can't stand it. But before I loved well, it. Now, now I'm, I'm gonna go to my bathroom and gag. <laughs> I literally <laughs> ate no less than 10 years of that stuff. Oh dear. Wait, how many years? I Cause I only ate Subway every day for a year. How many years did you eat Subway? Every, every basically every day I worked at my old job, which right. was in Manhattan. So I, my, my, my typical routine was 
Get in early, right? Uh, because oh, you know why? Also, I, I did it, right? Because Subway opened really early. Some of them, right? Like so, seven, eight a.m. Yep. I go in and get a chicken sandwich. Yeah, a full, I don't, full I don't want like an egg thing. I want a oh. chicken, full long chicken. Get a full long chicken that starts my day off pretty yeah. well. Sometimes two, Dang, sometimes so three. three years. Uh, yeah. You know why I'm so disturbed? How can you do chicken wrong? Why is it so hard for you to just make the chicken not stink? Like, and they, you know, one person asked him, so what's the, what's the freshest or what's the healthiest choice? Like the one that's least stinky or something like that, you know? And then he's like, well, actually the beef, the steak yeah. is pretty good. You know Which, why I never got that? Why? It's too expensive for me. Really? Yeah. Really? It's like is a, it more expensive? It's like a dollar yeah, it was, more. It was like, a, yeah. A dollar, a dollar more. Hey, you add that up to every single day? That's true. I save 400 bucks a year. That's true. Come on, hey. man. I say get, yo, I, I, I can't, yo, I went there so much. I started figuring out like hacks. Like hacks. Like Did you get the card? Oh yeah, I had the subway. Yeah, of course, man. Of course, the subway card. And it, yeah, yeah, I had like a little Yankee thing on it, but whatever. Yo, mm -hmm. I, I, I had hacks, and you know me, I'm high maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. They hated me when I went in there because eventually I would order a sandwich. I would make them first toast. I would order a cold cut sandwich, cold cut, and I would make them toast the onions, the peppers, and the Parmesan cheese first. And, and the cheese, regular cheese, then put my cold cut on it. And these guys are like, yo man, it's a cold cut sandwich. Why are you making me do all this? I'm like, I want it my way. Yeah, so. you're annoying when you order stuff. He, he, he really right. is. Sure. No, I'm, I'm not being mean, I'm, no, I'm no, serious. It, he no, will I'm literally go to McDonald's and be like, I want a Big Mac, yeah. but I want this, yeah. that, this, and hook that. And, yep. and, I'll do it at McDonald's. And, 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 I will and do it like, at McDonald's. Dude, it's a McDonald's. I don't care. I and, want it and my way. And when he orders coffee, Yo, he'll did tell you know? Him did it. you know at our, at our coffee place yeah. that we went to every single day? Yeah. Yeah. Literally, the manager comes up to me. He's oh, like, he hated that. Dan is the worst. <laughs> why can't he just why can't he just get the sandwich we have? <laughs> he always has to customize it. That's just the way he is. I'm a customizer. And no, customizer. He'll, he'll actually go up to the counter and teach the barista oh, yeah, or whoever's making idea. the food. He's like, do it this way. And no. it's like you're like you're telling me how to do my job, no, they man. Hate that. They hate that. No, I mean anyone would hate it, dude. You gotta, you just gotta right. recognize. That. I once told McDonald's workers that I will wait for a new fresh fish fillet patty, and I stood there and I was like, I don't want the one that's sitting in there. I want you to wait. I put two drops of that sauce. Give me two. I literally I told them how to make it. And They'll give like, you something extra in there. <laughs> no, no, that's why I stood. Did you like that tartar sauce? Yeah. Like that special tartar nope, sauce? Because I stood there and watched them. I yeah. made sure because I'm like, these guys are going to spin in my burger. <laughs> you so know it. Like, yep, I know it. I, you know what? Now I feel really good about my choices at Subway because I feel like, I always feel like cold cuts. All right, cold cuts are not great to begin with. You think about ham has... All yeah. sorts of stuff yeah. in it. It's all it's processed. Good. Turkey is probably also processed. Yeah. But I'm like, you're you're choosing to eat a cold cut sandwich. Might as well do it. So I I always just have um the regular one. I'll tell them how to make it too because they they let you customize your yeah. sandwich, right? So I'll just pick a bread and then I'll just put a cold cut and then all my vegetables and then a vinegar and um, vinegar oil and oil, oil. And, and that's it. You know, I, you know what I blame? Subway's marketing was so good yeah. because they convinced you that they were the healthiest thing you could eat that day. The they convinced you that. Biggest lie. Biggest lie. And like, so, so I ate there for years yeah. thinking, I'm being healthy. Me too. Biggest I, lie ever. I mean, I No, mean, it's not healthy. At it's the end healthy. of the day, I mean, no one says stinky chicken is necessarily bad for you, is it? I, no, it's this everything. No, <laughs> that stuff no, is like you know what. Bad no, for now you. I'm gonna question all the fast food places. Of course. No, but, but no one says it's healthy though. We, we no, no, but they won't serve you stinky chicken, maybe. Oh, I see. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. how often does KFC change their chicken? Yeah, but they're not serving you chicken. <sighs> well, anyway, guys, let us know if you were disturbed by this as much as I was. What was the sandwich that you were getting a lot? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.